they are is still a mystery, but overnight, dozens of heavily armed men seized government buildings in Crimea, a region in Ukraine with an ethnic Russian majority. The men barricaded themselves in and then raised the Russian flag, but so far have issued no demands. At the same time, ousted Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych announced he is seeking protection in Russia, insisting that he is still president, issuing this statement to Russian media from an unknown location. Everything that is happening now in the parliament of Ukraine is illegitimate, it reads. People in southeast Ukraine and in the Crimea will not accept anarchic and de facto lawlessness in the country when the heads of ministries are being elected by crowds in the street. Russia! Ukraine is a country divided. In Crimea, Russian-speaking protesters have rejected the sweeping changes in the capital, Kiev, and local parliament has announced they will hold a referendum on the region's autonomy. This protester says we cannot accept the authority in Kiev. We are a different people, you understand, and we are supporting our homeland. We want to either have the constitution from 1994 reinstated or we will be happy to join Russia if they will take us with pleasure. It is our motherland and we are Russian people. In Kiev, a new European Choice Coalition in Parliament voted in a new Prime Minister. He says top priority is to keep the country unified. We are committed to the territorial integrity and unity of my country. And the new government will do everything and use all legal means to stabilize the situation in Crimea. All of this just one day after Russia put 150,000 troops on high alert for war games near its border with Ukraine. Although the Kremlin denies that these exercises are linked to events with its neighbor. In a statement, Russia's foreign ministry said it is carefully watching the situation in Crimea and will, quote, give a tough and uncompromised response to violations of compatriots' rights by foreign states. An ominous warning not to escalate rising tensions any further. Atika Schubert, CNN, London.